Yeah, well, I mean, kind of, I guess maybe a little bit of what I expected. Um, fun to get the first one out of the way. Good environment. What you kind of, I don't know, I thought about it a lot today. What would that be like when we, uh, when I walked out to be the head coach of the Mountaineers? And that was pretty special. Um, you know, a lot of thoughts kind of went through my mind um, before the game today. But, um, you know, started off a little shaky, I thought. We weren't great defensively, settled into that second quarter and only gave up the two points. So I thought we once we did that, I thought we were we were considerably better. Challenged them at halftime to really kind of work through the paint a little bit more. I didn't think we did a great job working through the paint at all today. Um, really did a good job from behind the three. So that was encouraging to make in the amount of threes we did and shoot it at that percentage. Thought we got a little bit better playing through the paint in the second half. Um, did not do a great job on number 11, who was a really good player, and we knew that coming in. So we'll have to be a little bit better uh, moving forward with a, a, a dominant post player like that. Um, but we'll get better from this. Um, it's a start. Um, we didn't we didn't show a lot either, so I kind of we watered down the offense and defense um, a little bit tonight, and so we'll we'll start to you know maybe click a little bit more when we can help them out moving forward. But all in all, it's it's a good start. It's a win, um, and then we'll go on the road for a pit on Saturday. Coach, eight points from Loyola to end the first quarter there, full 8 0 run, and then only two points in the second quarter. What changed? Um, I, we just settled, I thought. I mean, I thought we had a good good start to the game, right? Got up, I don't remember what it was, 10-ish, right, I think. And then uh, I think they hit a three. We had a couple terrible turnovers that, you know, I think they converted into points there. So it was just that one little, I think it was about two-and-a-half-minute stretch where we just, yeah, kind of fell apart offensively, took some bad shots, turned it over, and then led to some offense for them. Nothing really. We didn't do anything a whole lot different, just, just settled in. 12 of 23 from three, uh, you got a lot of open looks. Did you expect to see that? And the efficiency scoring from behind the arc as well? Yeah, well, it's so hard early on. You just don't know what teams are going to do. You know, they played 85% man a year ago, and they come out and play a zone, which we thought they might. So we had prepared for both. Um, you know, they had another couple kids that we thought would play that didn't play. So it's just these games are hard. I even told them before the game, I put up an acronym before every game, and it was about basically prepare for the unexpected because we don't know what this is, is going to look like. Um, you know, so, yeah, we just – I think we're taking what the defense gave us, but we do. I mean, our guards are good, and they can make open shots. Um, I think it's just on the rest of the team to get us the right shots. And then when we get it, thankfully tonight, we were able to convert. You said you watered some things down, and obviously want to show everything in game one, but did you see the characteristics you wanted to see out of your team here in the first game? Um uh, some, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, there was some defensive identity at times that was pretty good. There was, you know, some turnovers that led to points that we want to, you know, be a little bit about that. Um, you know, got all the kids in that we had available tonight. So we got that first run, that first game through everybody. So maybe we can settle down. Uh, we had had some injuries, so we got a couple of those kids back. So, um, yes, I saw enough that we can build off of it for sure. Um, but, you know, and they had asked me this, I think, in the press conference last week, you know, if I had like 80 or 90 percent of, you know, the stuff in. And I bet we're probably closer to like 55 60 percent of the stuff so we'll get a lot better as it goes coach obviously you know you coached jordan last year at, at Stephen and Stephen f people are just now here getting their first look at her uh you know what did you see from her tonight and how is her game you know beginning to evolve from you know, from one year to the next well she's just getting more comfortable here i mean you saw her that was that's jordan harrison she was the freshman of the year in our league for a reason she got much better as the year went on, but I think she was plus 37 today on the plus minus, you know, and she's just a floor general, um, but she's a leader and she knows what I want, you know, and while the other ones we're still working on that, right? Because we're new, Jordan is the one that's been with me and, and obviously I've been with her, so we just have that kind of connection right now, but she's just a sophomore and only played one year of college basketball, but she's a dynamic little player and her and Quinterly are gonna be pretty good, I think. Do you worry, I mean, when she comes here, obviously it, it's a step up in, in day competition. Do you worry about that with with her at all, having gone from like you know the mid major to the you know the high major? Level? No, not really. And she was a pretty highly recruited kid. Actually, we we got her over a couple Power Five um, schools. She played on a big time AAU program. So Michaela Williams, who's at LSU, was a freshman. Dariana Bugs at Baylor. They were all on the same AAU team. There was a couple more. So the kids played with high level talent. Um, and so no, I wasn't. To be honest, I wasn't the least bit worried about that kid. She's a tough. She's a tough character. You talked about all the thoughts going through your head today earlier. What's it like now that you're finally have that first win on the board? Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't, it's a win. It's it's one. You know, I try not to be the guy that gets too high, too low. I mean, it's special, and I'll always remember it. You know, I don't want to downplay it too much, but I also don't want it to be about me. There's a a much bigger picture coming up. You know. I'll, 
I'll reflect very briefly, I guess, maybe tonight, but it'll be right back to watching film and figuring out how we can get a little bit better. Um, but we've loved it here. We've enjoyed it here. It was um, everything that I wanted it to be. JJ, obviously you've seen her in practice. You've seen her in closed door scrimmages, but a game like setting, a true game setting, anything different that you saw from her today or about what you expected? Yeah, pretty much what I expected. I mean, I've seen film on her too, and we've seen her in practice, and that's pretty much the kid. Now, she shot it really well today. She doesn't typically... I think because this was her career high, I believe, right, and made threes, I think. So I think she made four tonight, um, which was her career high. But, no, nah, no, she's just so dynamic. You know, I've, she's the fastest kid I've ever coached, and her ability to go from zero to 100 and then stop again at zero is just a next level. I've just never seen a kid that can go so quick and then stop so quick. So, yeah, so she's dynamic, and we'll still – she'll get better. Um, you know, she just had a good shooting night, but she had, she's had she been hurt, so she hadn't been out there a ton. We just got her back a couple days ago. So um, she was a little tired, too, I thought, there early. Um, but as she gets her win and her legs underneath her, she'll she can have a phenomenal year. Kaya Watson, your thoughts on her as well? Yeah, she's just Kaya, you know, and I say that with as an ultimate compliment, so steady. Um, just plays hard. She's and she's worked herself in great shape. I mean, I keep seeing pictures of her a year ago versus what she looks like now. That's a different, you know, she's changed her body and nutrition and she's explosive. He got the 1-3, which was I was glad in transition, um, you know, but just uh, covers up so much that sometimes you may not even notice that she does. And some things that she, you know, the stats may not show, but I think what she led us in rebounding, steals, maybe assists as well, um, you know, didn't score it great, but, you know, she's going to be, She's going to fill it, I think, just because that's the kid she is, and, and I trust her. 17 turnovers, is that just a result of you guys just still figuring each other out? Obviously, you said having installed everything. Is that just kind of it'll get better with time? Hopefully. I sure hope so, because there were some bad ones. <laughs> there were some look around like, what in the world was that? Some two-on-one you know, bad choices, turnovers, you know, just some, you know, we get a numbered advantage. We have to be better. You never want to turn it over in those couple where we were just late. You know, I think we dribble it too much. So we got to start working on passing and, you know, head goes down to dribble and then we miss a cut and then we think we see it, but by now it's too late. So I think we had two or three of those turnovers. So a lot of it is timing and we'll get better with the timing. Yes. But 17 is a little too many. You can survive 17 if you force 22 because you're plus five there. Uh, but we got to be better. It needs to be much lower than that. Coach, Warren looked really comfortable out there starting, in, you know, being in the starting lineup. Um, kind of a more of a defensive role last year at Arizona. Are you confident that she can get back to her scoring ways at Oklahoma State with all of her experience this far? Yeah, no, Lauren has settled in really well and very quickly here. But, yeah, she had two completely different roles at her previous stops. You know, she averaged, I think, over 15 a game at Oklahoma State, was an all-Big 12 kid, goes to Arizona, kind of was a corner spacer, as you alluded to, a defensive kid. Now she can guard. She's an elite-level defender. She can shoot it. She can drive it. You know, so I, you'll, I think you'll just get a mix of – of probably both. We've challenged her to just be a little more efficient. You know, she was a little volume at Oklahoma State and then didn't get as much volume, but was fairly efficient at Arizona. So let's package this and see if we can't get the complete season from her. You mentioned the 22 turnovers and a lot of pressure even until the last minute. So what did you see from that? Was that what you liked or still more room to grow there? Yeah, no, I think there's some more room to grow. Honestly, that's probably was a little low for what I was expecting you know and we're just again it's we're you know maybe the top two in our press we're really getting after it and then the forward or the next line maybe not as much you know and so we've just got to get in sync we can't have some working hard in it you know and then the others not or it doesn't all come together so guys yeah it's an all of it's a work in progress for us right now but we'll again we'll keep getting better from it they gave us some different looks that we hadn't seen or we don't you know from a press offense we don't do some of the things that they do and i thought we adjusted really well to that um, but we'll keep getting better at it. Yeah, we, we can we can turn that up another another level. Can Coach bring uh, Jayla off the bench? Uh, just a, a, a different look there, or is that something you guys you know talked about in the in, in the preseason, or uh, just the, the the thoughts there? Yeah, no, I mean, good question. I, we feel like we have six starters. I've told Jayla that it wasn't. You know, she hadn't done anything. She's a fantastic kid. She settled in. She's going to do a lot for us. I hope our team identity is wrapped up in Jayla. Like, I really – it needs to be that. I still think she'll have the best year that she's had. This – it's – I don't know that it's permanent. This is just, a, you know, kind of the way we were, you know, right now and then just kind of let them play it out. But there's six kids that all have started – all of their careers, you know, somebody was going to have to come off the bench. For now, it's it's Jayla, but, you know, we'll see if that sticks or not. Um, just want her to settle in and be the best, best version of herself. But she took it like a champ and said she just wants to whatever it takes to help the team win, and that's what you would expect from a senior leader. Um, so I was proud of her for that, but uh, she's a huge piece to this. And then, as far, Sorry, and then as, as far as getting prepared for Saturday, I mean, you're, you're kind of an outsider to the whole Morgantown scene, but 
how much do you get immersed in the West Virginia pit uh, rivalry? Hey, I got all I wanted and more from the football game a month and a half ago. So I walked through that blue lot on purpose and stayed for that whole game. Was down on the field a little bit. So yeah, no, I took it all in. I I'm fully aware. I haven't, you know, we haven't had a basketball version of it yet, but I'm fully aware of of what that looks like and, and what it is and what it means to our state. And so, and our kids know, I mean, we haven't really talked about it much, but we briefly brought it up and, and they know, and you know, they have a West Virginia kid from Fairmont. So she'll be pretty excited to transfer that played here at West Virginia. So, I mean, yeah, there'll be some emotion, I would imagine. And I was going to ask about that. I mean, I, I don't think anyone in the program has played against Pitt, uh, you know, the currently. So do you, how do you go about teaching that, you know, the rivalry versus it's, it's game number two in a long season? Yeah, I think, well, once the ball's tipped, it'll just be basketball, you know, from there. I, I don't think we'll have to talk too much really about it. They know. I don't want to overemphasize that it is game two. It's two new coaches. We don't know a ton about them. They probably won't know a ton about us. They play tonight as well. Um, you know, so we'll learn as much as we can, and we'll get our kids ready and prepared as we always would, like it's any other any other game, um, you know, and hopefully play, we play a little bit better. Uh, but we need to learn. This is our only true road game in the non-conference, so we need to go up there and, and learn how to win on the road. Um, so that will be important.